First of all, congratulations with the single that's going to be uh, on this film, Bros. Talk to me about that creative process and, and that collaboration between you and Jake Wesley Rogers because I love the two of you when you collaborate and I love what the both of you create. So I can only imagine what this song is going to be like and what that process was like. So it was actually working on this, this song for this movie, which is called Hindsight, uh, that Jake Wesley Rogers performs. Jake Wesley Rogers, an amazing new artist signed to my label, Facet Records, and we co-wrote the song together. And we just wrote a song for him. And Billy Eichner texted me and said, hey, we're friendly. And he said, hey, um, I just finished my movie. It's fucking amazing, but I still don't have an end title song. Can you recommend some cool, young LGBTQ artists for me to check out? And I was like, not only can I recommend Jake Wesley Rogers, but I can send you a song right now that's fucking amazing. And I was like, if you like it, we can tweak it to fit your movie. Let me know. Sent it to him, and he was like, don't fucking touch it. It's perfect. Done. This is our end title. So kind of like, that never happens. It was like just meant to be. It was in the stars. Jake and I had written the song two days beforehand. Billy texts me. I text it to him, and here we are. What do you think it was about the song that drew his attention and you know made it to this film? The song is um, inspiring, but still emotional. It's hopeful, but still grounded. Um, and Jake just sings his fucking ass off. <laughs> So I think it, it, fit per it has energy, but it still feels like it means something. It was just, I think, the perfect fit. And then when I saw the movie, I got to see it a couple months ago, it just is beyond perfect. You, the two of you have been working together for some time. Um, so this is not the first time you collaborate. So jumping into this song, not even knowing that it was going to be where it's at today, how different was that chemistry between the two of you in the studio? Do you feel like you both have the same kind of mentality and mindset nowadays, or do you feel like Jake still has his like his his specialness to like his songwriting and then brings it in on top of the specialness that you have? Yeah, when I work with Jake, it's really about giving him space to kind of figure out his own world, figure out what he wants to say, and then I come in there once I feel like he. And I, we, he does it in front of me. He's at the piano, he's mumbling, he's humming, and I give him space to hum and mumble and play. And then when I feel like he's on to something, I step in and like make him focus and elevate on, the, on what feels really special. Yeah. And aside from Jake, you have been discovering so many great artists. Uh, Edie being one of them, yes. just dropped Self uh, Send Help, which is such an incredible uh, uh, body of work. That collaboration process between you and Edie, like, how different is that when you go get into the studio with Jake and then you come into the studio with Edie? Yeah. First of all, thank you for asking about all these new artists. People only want to hear about the big, huge pop stars I work with, which I love. They're all great, too, but it's so nice to talk about the young people, the up-and-comers. Working with Edie is, she is like an, a, a musician's musician. She plays every instrument under the fucking sun. Um, so that's really about... Yes, the songs have to be great, but how do we let her express herself through her instruments? And her voice is a crazy instrument too, but it's, for her it's about how do we make sure she can shine as an instrumentalist as well as an amazing pop star. So that's where Edie always starts with the crazy fucking guitar part she's playing or the insane beat she's playing on the drums or the piano part. Like she, she plays better than like any like 40 year old touring musician I know and she's 19, she's insane. Yeah, I feel like she she always plays with that same guitar she has on Diamonds, that, that incredible guitar. I feel like that's just part of every writing session. But uh, the fact that she's only 19, you basically discovered her at such a young age. It's been a few years now. So that uh, that evolution between that time when you first worked with her for Diamonds to now, like, how do you feel that 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 she that Edie has evolved as an artist? It was so cool. You know, we just got she just put out Send Help, her first body of work. And we got back in the studio to write together last week. And it was the first time I've written with, with, written with her since the pandemic. Now she's in my musical that I wrote with Eve Ensler and Adina Menzel. Um, so I've been, I've been with her, but it's the first time we wrote together in three years. She's a whole other human, a whole other fucking writer. Like she's about to fuck shit up. She's unbelievable. I'm super excited. I'm, I'm hoping to reunite with her on Monday at her at her school cool. night show. So hopefully we'll get to talk about that as well. Um, lastly, to close us off, and you're going to hate this one because you kind of just mentioned it, but, um, you know, Selena doing new music. Like, do you see yourself still being part of that 
that production process? And if so, like how different is it this time around? Yeah, I just spent a week working with Selena in Sweden, actually. Um, Selena is one of my favorite collaborators of all time. Uh, she has the highest taste level possibly in the world. She knows a, not just a great song, but a song that's always a couple steps ahead. Her instincts are just priceless. And working with her is so beautiful. Um, and so, yes, I am definitely involved in the next album. And as much as she'll have me, I will fucking be there. Amazing. Well, thank you so much for doing what you do. Thank you for introducing me to Edie and Jake because they're both artists that I've been in love with for the past couple of years. So cool. thanks, Justin. That's awesome. <laughs> thank you.